Yeah, all right. So that's what I was picking up at the end of that last reading. I almost forgot. I had woken up last night at 3.33 in the morning. And I feel like... Someone's got something to say. God, if someone wants to walk out of your life, let them go. You get the other way, if someone wants you to go, go. Something's happened. Somebody's gone. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. I am kind to everyone, but when someone is unkind to me, weakness will not be what you remember. There's definitely some defensive walls going up here. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Someone's hurt. Someone left here for sure, right? I just, I'm picking up this energy of right, like, yeah. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. Someone is unkind to me. Weakness will not be what they remember. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. This person was just like, what? I wasn't, I wasn't putting on an act. That's not an act, right? It's like, that's who I am type of energy, right? You know, I get this thing, it's like people are like, oh, don't try to be, um, and I, and I, and I, t I preach this to people all the time, I'm like, stop watching these videos on how to do this, and how to do that, and how to attract a man, how to be this feminine, how to be that masculine, be you, just be who you are, and then you don't have to worry about putting out a fucking act, right? Because I got up, they watch us dine on empty cups and drink from empty plates. This person didn't want to put on an act. They're like, no, no I'm, I'm not pretending to be high maintenance. I'm not, or I'm not pretending to be loving. I'm not pretending to be a divine feminine. I'm not defending, or uh, pretending to be a divine masculine. I don't know which way this is going quite yet. But it's a matter of I'm not you know I am kind because that is what I center on is kindness and love it's not that you know that's not an act it's not an act it just comes naturally as breathing right no one should know too much about their own destiny it could be someone who's dealing with the seer and it could be a message from you who are saying to stop getting readings on this I know that's counterintuitive to my own businesses but you know, no one should know too much about their own destiny. I got, did you hear I was happy? And you just want to mess it up. We definitely got that Mercury retrograde. People coming back around energy. You have everything it takes, more than everything it takes. And you're really stupid for not doing that. For your will is as strong as, for my will is as strong as yours, and my kingdom is as great. You have no power over me. I get a sense of, never underestimate predictability and stupidity. I get the sense that somebody was like, you know, one person, they felt like the other person was putting on an act here. You know, it's like one person was like, no, like, this is the energy I operate in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I get the divine, like, it's something that I get accused of, right? That divine feminine, that, that motherly energy, that, that, that Susie Homemaker energy. And don't get me wrong, I wish I could be a cutthroat business person. I wish I could be a lawyer. I wish I could be whatever. But for whatever reason, I naturally am good at what... <laughs> this is me. In the end, right? I'm a house witch. I'm a kitchen witch. I like to do things like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm more so, I'm heart centered. I'm home centered, right? I get that Susie homemaker energy, right? And people are really like, well, I don't know if that's what I want. Well, it's just like, you know, I'm not trying to be what the fuck you want. I'm just trying to be what the hell I am. And it goes the other way around, too. Like, um, I love my girlfriends that aren't great at doing the Susie Homemaker thing. I mean, I got friends who raise perfectly healthy children and they never learned how to cook or anything like that. You know, their kids, yeah, their kids mainly stay with either family or babysitters and stuff like that while they worked all the time. But that was where they were more centered. 
it's where they performed better at. It's where their passions were. It's what made their lives move easier, right? So it's what a, whatever your energies are is where you are. And I just got a sense that somebody felt like one person was putting on an act and the other person's like, I'm not acting. I wasn't acting. Don't take my kindness for weakness. It's who I am. But when you are unkind to me, weakness is not going to be the thing you remember. Something's going down here. You guys got me up at 3.30 in the morning. And no, I cannot get up and do a video at 3.30 in the morning. I can't walk at 3.30 in the morning. I take medication so that I don't wander around in my sleep. Which is something that a lot of seers and clairvoyants and people who are just do. I remember um, Susan from the Zen Dome, one of my mentors, told me that she always had to sleep in her own room because she would walk around and talk to herself at night, right? We got a Sagittarian energy going on, just got out of sad season. We got Venus. We got two. Sagittarius. I get that arrow energy, kind of feel like that Mercury retrograde energy, like when something's being pulled back, the universe is pulling it back so that it will be released, right? The tension. Can you even zoom down with the tension? Alright. We got star guidance. And we got the sheath here, right? We got this cutting back energy. Who should we start with today? Should we just dive right into this story? Is there past life energy here? Past life timelines. Somebody's got issues with authority figures. Those people who go against the green do. Someone who could have a hard time in authority figures. Someone who could have a hard time in courts. Lessons and blessings, Atlantis. This is a very old timeline. These are... <laughs> I'm going to start calling them wave runners. Ooh, leaving and travel on the bottom there. That could have a lot to do with what's going on here. Let me leave that out. Um, I call you guys wave riders. Right? What? Oh, uh, what? Well, you come in at the fall. You come in to try to prevent the fall. You come in to try to save humanity or what bits of it that you can. Right? I won't cry for you. I definitely got that energy. Someone left someone or someone had to leave someone. In this energy, it's like this energy of like, what well, I, I, I'm cried out here. You want my tears? You can have these little vial of tears that I saved specifically for you. And that's it. I used to be very much like that when I was younger and I dated people. It's like, I'll, I'll cry for you for one night and then I'm done. I'm never going to cry for you again. It's like, I never played that game. I'm a weirdo though. I literally, I have nothing in my seventh house. I forget what my seventh house is in. It's in something messed up. And it's empty. I think it's in Aquarius and it's empty. It's always good to know your own charts. Got this mountain strength card again that keeps coming out. There's a lot of like people having to stand strong in the foundations of who they are. Winds of activation. Here and an empress. 
Definitely a decision that needs to be made, these two. Defenses need to be put down. Someone needs to come out of the cold. Defenses need to be put down. These two need to make a decision. Discussion and decision here. Like that's straight on the f on the 5D. That's a pretty clear and clear ass message there. Five of Pentacles, Reverse Nine of Wands, Knight of Poles, the Empress. <laughs> ain't that the energy I was talking about but bitch this ain't an act it's who I am <laughs> and I'm sorry masculines but you're the ones that are sitting there in your knightly armor right we'll get more into it I can be let's see Mm -hmm. 40, there's a lot of pull from the universe right now. There's a lot of pull from the universe. There's a hermit, very defensive. Uh, there's a hermit who's very defensive about this Queen of Cups, but two of swords again here on the end. <laughs> two, 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 y'all. I can't make this shit up. I feel silly almost going to read this backwards now. I should have kept my mouth shut. This is, let's see what the hell's going on on this one. I'm going all tarot for y'all. Y'all want to wake me up at 333? Let's get a full message on this. <laughs> Cherry it again. Two of cups again. Just all twos today. Alright. Yeah. What I say. He's laying there. Why is me? I'm stuck in three sword situations that I created for myself. I'm gonna roll around and she's like, dude, if you're not gonna get up and fight for this shit, then I'm gonna move on. Right? Might not she might have made a snap decision here with this princess of swords, but it, it, it was one of those, you know, ever out and find out moments, right? If you'd like to, what was it, what is the most elegant way of saying that? Feel free to test that assumption at any time. What? I don't need you. Okay, lay down the fucking swords. I'm out. Did all that not to cuss and then I cussed anyway, right? This part, there's definitely destiny pulling this two of cups soul connection here on the 3d there's a destiny all around it right i get the sense that the feminine's more aware of this right she's just sitting up here on the moon here's the two wolves right both howling at her right you get this piscean energy here in the middle with the fish right it's like i get there's two lighthouses I get that two energy again, right? I get this masculine might have been pretty stupid about the situation, right? And it's like, you know, okay, fine, you're in a, you're in a three of swords situation? Oh, you don't want to give up your three of swords situation? You won't hurt nobody. Oh, you don't want to be attached to nobody. Oh, you want to keep your friends with benefits and all that other bullshit. And she's like, all right, I'm going to make a decision. Mother truck, I'm a princess. <laughs> this might be a divine connection, right? With all this longing and pull. But don't think you're the only person I hear howling either, right? This divine feminine's like, well, the bitch that chose you and you're doing this. I'm getting the masculines who woke me up and this is the message you want. But yeah, you was doing this and they were like, um... Just because I'm not rolling around being all dramatic about it. Don't think there's not other people in my DMs. Don't think there's not other wolves howling at this moon. I think that's kind of the, a secret, maybe, perhaps. Somebody didn't realize, didn't know. Or something that they could even be something that that could be what the masculine is afraid of. He's like, well, well I'm not going to give up my three of swords situation because you got all these people howling at you. Well, you look silly. 
I'm gonna eat that shit. Rebirth. There's a rebirth getting ready to happen on the 3D. I keep picking up this massive shift in timelines being caused by this Mercury retrograde lineup. Right. 40. It's obsessive thought, man. It is, there's like, even if you try not to think about it, this person's going to pop up everywhere, right? It's like their name is going to pop up on the titles of all kinds of shit and in memes and in bullshit. And there's going to be all kinds of, like, things that make you think of them happening. And that one fucking song's going to constantly be everywhere you go, even when you turn off your devices and you put on the radio. There it is again, right? It's definitely someone in this hermit mode having to deal with this energy, right? They were defensive. They were defensive. They were defensive against this Queen of Cups. Right? This Queen of Cups was like, here's this cup. And they're like, crows are creepy. Right? I'd rather be a hermit a hermit. I was like, all right, well, if I can't see where this is going, then I'm going to have to make another decision. I mean, and it's unfortunate because it's just how it goes. Um, it's where our, our strengths lie as divine feminines and divine masculines, right? Divine masculines are more calculated and everything else, but the divine feminines... Um, are attached more to that to the moon to intuition to divine guidance I mean like that is the point like men may be physically stronger men may you know have you know more gifts towards you know authority and manifesting in these type of energies but the feminine are better at seeing the timelines they're more gifted they just are that's just that's the whole point right that's what comes with it with having a cycle that flows with the moon, with the earth. I mean, like, that's all attached for us. So it's almost, it's impossible to get away from it. But you have to learn how to use it. And we use it to use our intuition to make these decisions and stuff. And it's like, people are like, how did they know that was going to happen? It's like, because we listen to our intuition. Right? They pay attention. They're, they're empaths, right? They know what they're doing here. Like I said... Yeah, something happened here, right? Need to drop the defenses. This Knight of Poles needs to drop his defenses with this Empress. I get the Empress can stop being quite such a bitch either because she really was kind of a bitch in the movie. But then at the same time, I don't know. She just wanted to have a date night. <laughs> the blended family thing came up in the last reading too. But yeah, the, she just wanted to have a date night with her husband. The 16-year-old was late coming home to watch the kids. And then the 16 year old Sarah acted like a total fucking drama queen, right? There definitely was decisions that needed to be made. There's that hermit again. I get this hermit. I love it. His line in the movie is, sometimes you have to go back to the beginning, right? And sometimes the way forward, you have to go back to the beginning. The bird on top makes fun of him for it, right? This person, this hermit's been trying to find some balance, right? They're trying to find balance. They're reaping what they sow in a situation, right? They're reaping some sort of something that they reaping something that they've sown. It could be coming right. So I line these out a little bit differently here. This this pulse is right under this authority figure thing, right? And they're reaping what they sow in something and it's it's very burdensome. Whatever they got going on is immensely burdensome. <laughs> I mean okay, yeah, they need balance temperance here. I feel like there's, you know, a, what do I get? a failure here to communicate, right? Mumble, 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 mumble. Right? One person can't hear, one person can't speak. And there needs to be to find some balance in between this, right? Because here's the chariot again. I love him in this movie. I feel like... 
and now his whole thing in the movie too was he defended this bridge and then he's like no one shall pass this bridge without my permission and he fiercely defends anybody trying to get past the bridge and then finally the teenager comes up and she goes can we just cross the bridge or maybe have and she's like what is your valley goes no one can cross the bridge without my permission she goes well then can we have your permission to cross the bridge and he was like yeah okay like nobody ever asked him before nobody ever asked him his permission oh that's a hell of a message right nobody ever asked him what he wanted or asked him his permission right of course as soon as they ask for his permission the bridge falls apart and then he has no sort of purpose anymore so he ends up being all chivalrous and devoted to them right it's definitely a call to the emperor here to take control of the situation Right, that's the energy I'm getting here. What is date night and you're supposed to be going out and it's technically your daughter that's causing the issue and it's time for you to start acting like an emperor. Well, you can't be going around creating all these these babies and havocs and that could be the third party situations that they're wallowing into, right? Page of feathers. Someone's putting on an act, right? In this deck, I always get that scene from Pure Country where it's like, yeah, this person's dancing on a stove, but someone's behind there turning, uh, dancing on a stage, but there's really a stove under the stage that somebody's messing with the heat and making this person dance around, right? And they're putting on an act like they're in control, but they're not. They're trying to, they're not. With that temperance, uh, they could even be slightly inebriated. Or doing something that's clouding their judgment, making it hard for them to think. King of Pentacles needs to get in control. Needs to chill out, needs to get in control. I get the sense needs to ask more questions too and be mindful of the advice that they give, right? Because this dude in the movie, he uh, like he helped Sarah see a different perspective. Well, she didn't ask no questions either, right? But he helped her see a different perspective. She was like lost in the labyrinth. And she's like, there's no turns or bends or anything. And he's like, there's one right there. And she walks up to the wall and touches it. And there ends up being an optical illusion there. And she's like, thanks. And she goes to go left. And he goes, not that way. Never go that way. And she's like, oh, okay. So she just goes the other way. But she never asks why. And as soon as she gone, he goes, oh, she'd have gone that way and followed her intuition. It led her straight to the castle. Once again, being mindful of listening to, like, not underwriting. I got an energy of not underwriting the child here either at the same time. Right? They're going to make mistakes and shit like that. You get a different perspective on this stuff when you grow up, don't you? Right, <laughs> little mermaid. It's like when you know you're a grown up and you start taking Poseidon's side. It's like you don't even know the dude. He's just some guy from the boat. It's like you're in love with someone you're stalking. Doesn't make any sense. All right, twenty three minutes. I think that's enough into this. All right, I'm gonna give you one last chance. You got anything else you want to say? You guys got anything else from the 5D that y'all want to get off your chests? Vent. We're all in some kind of trouble. Am I the only one who sees it? Well, yeah, well, that's why you're supposed to try to help each other with your burdens. You're supposed to work together to create it. Everybody's out there trying to be so damn independent right now, which is cool. You're supposed to be independent. You're supposed to be um, self-sufficient in some form, but then you've got to have some realistics on that, right? It's hard to live alone. you got to have roommates, things like that, weird shit. Like, it's like life is different than it used to be. It just is. So what? It's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. Our love is like the wind. I can't see it, but I can feel it. They say in heaven, love comes first. 
see how different the energy is from the beginning of the reading. Best curse ever. May the full horrors of your actions be revealed to you. That's at seven of pentacles. Somebody is definitely reaping what they sow, right? Like I said, so they're rolling around in them three of swords, man. Like, oh, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm someone pieced out on that shit. Divine feminines do not hang around third party situations, right? Bitches in an act. Someone wants to walk out of your life, let them go. Yeah. Man, yeah. Someone, an empress energy just, just bounced out there. I like, know. Either bounced out or put somebody out. up when you mix up seasonal people with lifetime expectations a dream is merely a dream until you put it into action I get a sense that this person's like yeah it's like you got all these seasonal people in your life that are just fucking up your life and you can't even register the amount of toxicity that you're just opening your timelines up to and a dream is merely a dream until you put it into action it's like you know you're watching this person it's like yeah it's great to have all these dreams and dreams keep you alive and all that shit but in the end, uh, dreams are just dreams until you put them into action. And if all you do is talk about dreams and never make any move towards them, that's called future casting. It's also considered gaslighting and lying. If you're never going to make these change towards it, then what's the point? The morning sun must have done something to me because I bet I'd have gone the other way if you were called yesterday. This person has taken some time to get over this energy, right? I don't believe, I don't think that the ones I realized that, like, the ones I was so worried about being so wrapped up in their drama and how they're left out and what they're going to do and woe is me and woe is me when they created the whole situation. Meanwhile, the other side is like, do you have any idea what I went through to get over this situation? What I had to process, what I had to go through. Y'all need to have, there's a serious conversation that needs to be had here, if there's going to be any movement on this timeline. People need to grow up. Grow up. Stop playing games. Stop putting on an act. You have everything it takes, more than everything it takes, and you're really stupid for not knowing that. That is from Empire Records. If you want to watch a movie about what dating in the 90s was like, go ahead and check that one out. Every rose has its thorns. Nobody is perfect. Right? I like it. There's one of the quotes in there. It's like, you know, attachment is the source of all suffering. Everybody is going to make you suffer in some way, shape, or form. It's about finding who you are willing to suffer for. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all, and I hope that Brought some clarity to my insomniacs. I love you, and I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise.